In Windows 7, the search was specifically for programs and files. So it found things on your computer and it found programs for you on your computer. Then in Windows 8, search became everywhere. You could literally just start typing and it would search, but they put the search icon to make it a little easier for people who needed the visual cue. And there was always the search charm, but the functionality was the same. It searched everywhere. So if I searched for, I don't know, there's Skype. Let's just search for Skype. So I could find out the application for Skype, my settings for Skype, and then some web searches for Skype. Windows 10 is closer to the same behavior as Windows 8. Go over to Windows 10, and I can search the web in the Windows. I'll just start searching for Skype again. There's Skype telling me to get it from the Windows Store. Um, there's a listing for it in the store. There's the website and some other stuff. When we get this set up to be Cortana, um, you'll see even more how powerful uh, search can be. But it's just remember that search is for the web and the windows. I don't have to go out to the web. I do out of habit, but I don't have to go out to the web to Bing. I don't have to go to the web to Google. This can start doing my search for me. So if I wanted to find about, say, um, the weather in Boston. Well, right there, it's telling me in my start menu what the weather in Boston is. I don't even have to go to the web. It pulls that information in for me. Search is everywhere. Search is integrated. I can filter it just to my stuff. I can filter it just to the web if I wanted to. And that takes me to a web page, takes me to Bing. I can see an extended forecast of the weather in Boston. So search is always, always available. It's search everywhere and all the time. One of the things that I really want to make clear with Search Everywhere, and this was true of Windows 8 as well, and if you didn't know it, but it really is everywhere. And it's really the fastest way to find the things you're looking for. That's it for this section, and we'll take a look at the mail programs in the next section.